Hello everyone, it's Cassie. Welcome back for another Miss Ink Stamps video. Today we're going to be playing with the Big Mugs stamp set. I think it's so cute, has some amazing sentiments. And we're also going to be playing with the Rabbit Hole Stencil. So um, I know that that one's meant for more of the Alice in Wonderland type stuff, but I just love mixing and matching the stencils with the different things. And I think this one would be so cute with the coffee. So I've got a piece of watercolor cardstock. I am going to spray this with some Scattered Straw Distress Oxide Spray. And the reason I'm doing that, and I like the splattery bits, but the reason I'm doing that is because I want to put a Distress Spray stain on top of it. And I know that because that's a Distress Oxide, the Distress Spray stain is going to change colors just a tiny bit on top of that. And so I have my um, brush corduroy color and it's a little bit darker and I wanted it to be a little bit more subdued which is why I put that scattered straw underneath and so play around with your sprays see how they react with each other it's it's a ton of fun so there you've got that I think that looks really good it's subdued it enough for me so that it's not so you know in your face uh, but I'm gonna take the stencil and I'm gonna take another piece of watercolor cardstock and just kind of pick up some of that color it's just too great not to, right? <laughs> and then I'll clean up my stencil and we'll move on to the next st uh, step, which is doing some splatter. I've got some frayed burlap. I just wanted to splatter that on that background a little bit more. And then we'll clean up our mess and I am going to let that dry a little bit with my heat tool. And then we can move on to doing our stamping. As I said, we're going to be using the big mugs. The sentiments in here have me cracking up and that little gnome with his cup of coffee is adorable. So I'm going to ink that up with some uh, blackout ink by Ink on 3, stamp that onto some Expressit cardstock, and then we are going to do some alcohol marker coloring. Before I do that, I'm going to grab the sentiment that I want to use. This one just says, sun's up, coffee's up. Yeah, story of my life. Um, that or tea, <laughs> for sure. And so... Now we'll start with our coloring. I want the mug to be red, so I've got some R29. I did not do a very good job of putting those colors up on the screen, so I will mention them as I remember them. Um, sometimes I just get into create mode and I just kind of don't think about that. So our next color is some R89. It's definitely much darker. And my reds seem to have just kind of gotten away from me. They do that for some reason. They just bleed more than the other colors. So just be aware of that when you're coloring with red. They tend to bleed a lot more. For his little pajamas, now they don't have to be pajamas, but I am going to call them pajamas. We're eventually going to go with more of an orangey color. Uh, but his skin tone is E00 and E11, and I'm not going to blend that out. And then for his beard, we're doing some E59. And then the darker shade's going to be E49. It's kind of funny to think that the E49 would be darker than the E59, but that is just how that works. Um, and you'll notice I talk about the colors as each letter and number is separate. So it's not E59, it's E59, because each of those letters and numbers has a value. Um, and so now we're coming in with that E59, and we're blending out the E49 a little bit more. I just think it's so cute, his little beard dipped into his coffee. All right, now we've got some YR24, and my marker is on the fritz. It is drying up. Uh, I think it's because my cap might be busted. So I'm going to shift gears here after a minute when I realize this just is not going to work. You can tell it's super splotchy, and I'm not digging it. But those are going to be his pajamas. You can even tell it bled into the top of his little hat. But we've got some YR27. I'm eventually going to bring in some, I believe E99 is the color. And then we'll just kind of make that a little bit darker. And then we'll bring in that YR27 to blend that out a little bit. But it makes me sad whenever my markers do that. Ugh, I hate it. Super sad. So then we'll just fill in some of those gaps where it's, there's some white space. And then for the band on his hat... We're using some E41, and we're going to put that on the band of the cup as well. Didn't do the best job of cleaning up the mess where that YR24 bled into it, but it's okay. And then we're just going to color his little boots with some, some grays. Got some W6 and W8, and then we'll blend those back. When we're done with that, we will fussy cut him out. And then we'll cut our sentiment. So I'm going to use my guillotine trimmer to cut our sentiment. You could get real fancy if you wanted, but I'm just going to cut it like that. And then 
we're going to take our piece and we're going to trim it down. That is originally a four and a quarter by five and a half piece of watercolor cardstock, but I'm going to trim down just the longer sides. So this is still going to be five and a half inches and it's going to be four inches. So it will go top to bottom on that card base that I have, but we're going to have a little bit of a white border on the one side. I'll use my liquid glue to adhere this down to our card base. And it is a little bit longer than the five and a half. So I am going to pull out my guillotine trimmer again, and we're just going to trim off some of that excess. And we'll be good to go there. And then with those two extra pieces that I trimmed off, we're going to put those on the inside after we decorate our outside. And by decorate, I'm just going to put these pieces down. I decided I didn't want to add a whole lot of embellishments or anything like that, because this is going to be a little bit more of a masculine card for me. And then I do want to do some stamping on the inside as well. But I love to take these extra pieces and then put those on the inside. I feel like it frames the inside a little bit. And yeah, of course, it's going to be a little bit longer. We'll trim that off later after everything's kind of dried up. But I'm going to bring in some Distress Oxide stamp pads. Those are formulated way better for actual stamping than the Distress inks themselves. Uh, so we're going to pull in that first color, which I believe is the frayed burlap. No, that's the brush corduroy. That's right, the frayed burlap is darker. And we're going to bring in that frayed burlap for our sentiment, which they're just so fun. I think that one's cute. This is May the caffeine hit before, kick in before reality does. <laughs> Love that. And then I'll trim off the excess of that and then that's going to finish off our card today a very simple one but i do love how it turned out if you like this video be sure to hit that like button definitely consider subscribing if you haven't already done so and be sure to check out all that missing stamps has going on over there on their blog facebook page and instagram from our crafty inspiration thanks for stopping by